Okay, uh, in this lecture I'm gonna show how to create architectural rendering for exterior scene with uh, specific sun uh, information. Okay, let's start. Alright, uh, I already made a building mass and then I applied some basic uh, the texture for building facade and glazing and sidewalk. Alright, so Basically, we are gonna start from this condition, okay? And then render setup actually uh, is pretty much the same as that I upload to our blog. So I enabled the built-in frame buffer, and then image sampler gonna be adaptive subdivision, and then anti-aliasing filter ready area, and then the environment be checked and the white color and multiplier gonna be 1.0 and color mapping will be linear multiply okay and then indirect illumination you should check this on and then uh, irradiance map gonna be low for test render and then the light cache gonna be 200 for this is just for uh, test rendering and that's it and then uh, actually there are, there are no light so from here let's render this first and now you can see it's just totally dark scene because there are no light sources so from here I'm gonna add uh, sun sunlight okay oh I, I think I forgot to mention about the camera setting so um, I use the V-Ray uh, physical camera okay so as you can see in modifier setting actually um, I use the steel cam and film gate is 35, focal length is 27 and zoom factor is 1.0 and f number f number is the most Im important thing so I input 8 and then everything is same as default setting okay so then uh, I'm gonna add the sunlight from top view okay so from here let's go to systems and then you can select the daylight here actually from under the daylight uh, perimeter um, you can specify the location and time and date all right so um, i'm gonna get the sunlight in our city Providence so under the map actually you can select the continent alright so basically you can select everywhere like uh, Korea Seoul Japan India Mumbai so in this case I'm gonna select North America and then let's select Providence oh I'm sorry just a minute, North America and Providence. Let's go to Providence, Rhode Island. Okay, and then you can change the time zone. So I'm gonna create uh, sun at 3 p.m. on February 1st, 2010. All right, so um and then you can just simply um, click the center point around the center of the main building you can click and then release and then drag okay so this is uh, the accurate sun at 3 p.m. on January at uh, February 1st Rhode Island Providence okay now uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna change some property of this daylight sun daylight alright so um, let's select this sun 
and then let's go to modify and then you can change I'm gonna change sunlight as a V-Ray Sun okay so let's click the V-Ray Sun and then you will have this windows just click yes we need V-Ray Sky Environment Map alright and then here actually we already added the skylight V-Ray Skylight Map so in this case we don't need skylight so no skylight here that's it and then that's it so everything um, are same as default setting so good I'm gonna explain some um, important parameters of V-Ray Sun um, the turbidity means um, the density of the dust at the atmosphere so actually you can change its value the bigger value means um, the high dense highly dense dust in atmosphere so if you like increase its value as a 4 or 5 um, you will have very um, polluted sky in the in the city all right However, if you decrease its value, uh, you will have more uh, clear sky in the suburban areas. Okay. Then the ozone means um, the clearness of the sky. Actually, it related on uh, the clearness of the sky. Uh, the minimum value is zero point uh, zero, and then the maximum value is one towards zero means you will have uh, if you like a um, set the at like a 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 you will have more like a yellowish sky but uh, if you set up like a toward one like 0 0.8 and 0 0.9 uh, you will have more like a very clear bluish sky okay so that's ozone and then the intensify multiply you can I you can increase the intensity of the sunlight but I strongly uh, don't recommend to change the intensity because the sun you cannot change the intensity of sun this is pretty much pretty much um, the automatic and and like a standard value so just one is totally fine and then the subdivision this is actually you can increase this sh the this value the shadow sub subdivision, but um, if you increase this value, you will have like a better quality of a shadow, but it will increase your render time amazingly. So I think three point is the best. All right. So and then and then there are nothing special actually. So you can just uh, leave as a default setting. All right let's render 